Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm still me. And I'm... me. Hooray. <laughs> so, before we go to the castle, we're gonna get some information, because... Uh, we've been able to ask this the entire time, but can't really... doesn't really mean anything. Hmm. Oh, man! Link was here? I only heard about him in Legends. Oh. So, um... Does the game make a point of meaningless questions, or is that just kind of an existential thing? I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to know which Zelda timeline Donkey Kong Country 3 takes place in. Timeline Z. <laughs> of course. Mm. Oh man, the castle must belong to the infamous Count Keep Right Off. <laughs> oh. Sounds like an upright fellow. So yeah, that was two coins down the drain for nothing. Hmm. But whatever, we're going to the castle. Cow's core. Yeah, <laughs> even though I parked the boat, there was somehow more water that I had to swim up. So, whatever. Alright, so... As you know, oh, there's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, hey. <laughs> So as you can tell, conveyor ropes, they move on their own. Yeah. It works. I I like it because they don't they don't they don't like to do like the whole like you have to go against this rope thing though because that's just annoying. Yeah. So it it just makes you move forward kinda cool and it's you just dodge stuff and it's really nice. No button presses needed except for jumping. Yeah. Also, secret off-screen bonus barrel, unless you jump down there. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly very tricksy. Mm-hmm. So, uh, basically that one's just, you know, jump backwards a bunch and you win. Yep. <laughs> uh, Get out of your barrel, guys. <laughs> wow, you f <laughs> apparently that's not a bottomless pit. <laughs> Who knew? Also, something else I wanted to show off after I did this pro dodge. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that there are parts where you can hit the ground like that to get items. Oh, that's cool. But you never, you never needed to get like bonuses or anything like the other ones, so it's still very pointless. And can you actually see beforehand, or or do you just? Require... You can kind of tell. There's like things in the floor, like in this stage, it's like those cracked rocks. Oh, okay. In some other stages, I think there are some that I didn't no notice, but it it doesn't really matter anyway. And those guys are suicidal. Uh, monkey see, monkey do, perhaps. I guess so. <laughs> More green bananas. <laughs> this yeah. is a, whereas the other one was like the first one over water. This is the first one over a pit, but also with uh, moving ropes. This is, um, exciting. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all in all, this stage is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not, like, it's not terribly interesting, but it's not, like, offensively bad or anything, right. so it's kind of, it's, it's decent. Yeah, I mean, I can see thought actually went into this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, that, that's always nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're going so against we... the grain for once. <laughs> Yep. And then you have to wait for a little while for the other uh, hedgehog to roll off the cliff. Hmm. Also, I don't think you can kill them. I mean, like, if you have, like, a barrel or something, you could probably kill them, but you don't get barrels in this level to kill them with, so... I don't know. Also, this is kind of cool. Don't even have to move, and then you oh. forget there's a bee at the end, <laughs> and you get hit. <laughs> Slick. If I had turned <laughs> if I turned around, the camera probably would have shown him. But whatever. Ah, <sighs> that was that was slick. Yeah. Uh mm -hmm. Well played, so sir. We're, so we're gonna completely ignore this bear and continue on for the moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, what good are bears anyway? I don't know. Anyway, uh, once we get rid of this guy, we'll see. The gimmick for this level is Boo barrels. disappearing barrels. Yep. <laughs> and, and of course, if you run into them here, it'll fling you right into that bee and kill you. Oh, yeah. That, that could be troubling. Mm-hmm. 
Plus there's some of them that just randomly change direction. And so it takes like... I, I don't know if it's completely random or if there's some pattern to it, but I can't discern it, a pattern on some of them because... Well, it, it seems that the ones we've seen so far have just been rotating in their direction, like count, like clockwise or counterclockwise, like that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some of them later where the, the pattern is just seems completely <laughs> random and I get stuck the entire time <laughs> waiting for it because I keep faking, getting faked out by it. Uh... See, this one's just kind of random-ish. Because mm. it also points straight down, too. Sneaky bonus barrel. Mm -hmm. Sneak him everywhere. Oh, man. You gotta do use another one of these ghost barrels. <laughs> this this one actually seems kind of fun. Yeah, if, it, it actually is. If, if, if only a little RNG-based. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you get a good amount of time, so even oh, yeah. if you just sit there waiting for it to go up a whole bunch of times, it's still not too difficult. Yeah. I, I like it. Do, do, uh, <laughs> do the timing ever change on those boo barrels? I think they go faster in some of the later parts of the stage, oh. but I don't remember for certain. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Eat barrel, fiend! <laughs> and of course, our good buddy Squitter. Yeah. He's the best. Wait, don't you. You already. So you're riding him here. Don't you usually, uh, actually be him? Uh, yeah, usually most of the time, but there are some where you ride the animal buddies. So. That's cool. And this is actually a. Whoops. <laughs> this is actually a nice kind of challenge to use the webs to get up while there are, uh, downward barrels. Hmm. Nice use of uh, animal buddy mechanic. Mm hmm. The only thing I don't really like about the stage itself is that just the whole, uh. I don't know, it kind of runs out of things that it does because it kind of does the same things repeatedly. Like, here we have more of the, uh. ghost barrels flinging you into bees kind of thing. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Inescapable, unavoidable death if you get caught. Yep. yep. <laughs> I mean, it's all good and everything, but it's just that it was like the only couple of things they could find to do with them, so they just do them over and over. Yeah. It's, it's a shame because I. It, it seems as though there might be something quite amazing they could do with that sort of thing. Mm hmm. And we got this sort of thing again. Mm -hmm. Avoid yeah. bees. Yep. <laughs> now this is actually kind of cool, because you can't just throw it straight over there and be able to beat your barrel, so you have to throw it backwards. So. Also, I had to speed this part up because I got... <laughs> Basically, I kept getting tricked by the barrel. <laughs> that barrel does uh, not want we... you going the right way. Nope. <laughs> but it's okay, because we got past it. <laughs> oh, oh, and that <laughs> that was for demonstration purposes. I'm good at this game, I swear. Uh, but it's okay because we beat that level. Hooray! So now that we did that, we were gonna go talk talk to this bear over here. Was there a reason you skipped it before, or just kinda uh, kind of yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's hippie detective bear. He's kind of cool. Hmm, hint, hint, hint. Hmm. Have well, you... we gotta go back and get our expensive 50 coin mirror from, uh, Barter. <laughs> oh, hey, you actually dressed yourself properly. Good job. <sighs> that That's that's always the first step for a good morning, is dressing yourself properly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my 50 coin mirror is now a 60 coin mirror. This is ridiculous. That's the way inflation goes, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. The great banana recession of... <laughs> I don't know. 1990X. <laughs> 1990X! Yes, we get it. We know that... Yeah, there we go. 
they really like their heavy handed uh, uh <laughs> It's hints. a picture frame Uh Hmm So yeah the two stones referring to the thing right ahead of us, which we couldn't get to without beating the stage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're not paying attention and don't get that hint, you'll never get it again, because next time you go back to see him, he just talks backwards to you. Oh, boy. And that was only like five seconds, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, if you didn't understand it, you just make a figure eight, and magic uh, sewer grate opens. Oh boy, sewer level. Nah, it's just another one oh, of these. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's an earthy cave inside a sewer. <laughs> However that works. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't think there was one on a flying industrial island, so... Mm. Magic I permeates guess. this land. We can't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not really a cave. It's just a portal to a to a, or to a chamber like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So this level is actually really hard, but really, I really like it. Oh. So yeah, lightning strikes. They're semi-random as to where they're going to hit. So the best idea is to just keep moving, and if it goes right in front of you, you try to knock it hit. Yeah, that, that kind of goes without saying. So I, yeah. I, I noticed you can actually hide behind enemies, and they'll get the lightning strike instead of you. Mm-hmm. That, that's cool. Yeah, oh. and the... Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and the red bees uh, can't be killed by the lightning, so they're just kind of permanent uh, shade. Huh. This one... This, this bonus level does not feature any lightning. Oh. So... Such a shame. Nor does it. Yeah. Nor does it seem to feature ne a necessary bouncing segment. Mm -hmm. So, I, I and guess the only thing you gotta watch out for is that uh, being in the water. If the lightning hits the water, you're dead because uh -huh. that's how science works. Yeah. It's pretty cool how they paid that much attention to details. Yeah. This is kind of weird. You have to get the barrel to get the other barrel because there's a red <laughs> bee on top of that thing to keep it from dying. <laughs> That's, uh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I'm not even going to pick up another barrel. I'm just going to let the lightning do the job. Why effort? <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. Oh. That happened. I couldn't escape. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't escape the wrath of lightning. <laughs> you can't escape lightning forever. <laughs> Nor they just murdered that bug for no reason, too. <laughs> like now, this is kind of tricky, because... This is picking up bananas while dodging lightning. If you're good at dodging the lightning, it's not too difficult. If you're not, then you're probably going to fail a bunch of times. Well, so, have fun, I guess. At least it gives you ample, well, semi-ample warning as to where it's going to be before it actually happens, so it's mm -hmm. not completely unavoidable. Yeah, it, it, it gives you time to react to it, and I like that, because you can go full speed through the level while still being able to uh, avoid the lightning. Mm -hmm. I, I really like this level. I know there's some people who probably don't like it as much because it's really hard, but... I, I still enjoy it. The challenge sometimes is pretty nice. Mm hmm And lightning Running strikes four. twice. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, this level is going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh boy. And it's funny because it's not one of the ones I hear bitchy, people bitching about. Basically, you got the coin guys, except they're pink. Uh, these coin dozers will bump into you constantly. Huh. And will shove you into pits if you let them. And if you move, uh, if you're on the shield and you move slightly to too far to one side or the other, then you'll fall off and get bumped off repeatedly. Hmm. <laughs> this seems to be the most interesting thing they've done with these kind of guys, though, so. Mm hmm. I, I, I don't see a reason to complain, because I'm not the one playing. But. 
<laughs> exactly. It's it's not a bad level, but it is really tricky. Mm. And somehow I missed the bonus, even though it was right above me. Hmm. Hit detection. It didn't exist because it wasn't on screen. I don't know. <laughs> that happens, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm taking it really slow and careful because I know that if I mess up, yeah, bad things straight... will start happening. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there, I guess it was just nothing. <laughs> and also, I thought I could go on without that guy, but... <laughs> I, was just, I was just about to ask, too, if you needed these guys to actually uh, platform. Yeah. So I, I guess that's the question answered before I even had the chance to ask it. Exactly. <laughs> the game explains itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Oh, I, th I thought... Uh, here here goes me overthinking puzzles and thinking you had to jump onto the enemy to get into the barrel. Yeah, that would have been nice, but... With the team throw, you don't really need that. Yeah. Oh, boy. This this looks nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and again, if, if you stand wrong enough, then bump right into the pit. Oh. I, I think I'm I think I'm overestimating like how bad it is because you can I don't know exactly how wide you can stand on it before you start getting bumped off but it, it so far it seems to be a little mostly forgiving I think. oh hey look the one that actually has a coin and I somehow got hit by that barrel <sighs> oh so you switch it to steel barrels come on you just gotta commit you can do it can do it. Oh, and see what happens when you don't commit properly? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here's a, here's a bunch of other failures from this stage that I decided to leave in because they were hilarious. <laughs> Come on, I can get this. Uh, oh! One more time. <laughs> Alright. I did it! Now we get to the next one! Oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> Monkey pinball. Uh, whoops. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, that, now with that monkey business out of the way, <laughs> now that we actually succeeded in getting the DK coin, we can get the hell out of here. Also, I don't know why I switched it back to wood barrels. There was no reason to do that at all. Because you could. I guess. <clears throat> and I was trying to do the whole stage without having to resort to using Dixie, but at the end there, I just said, <laughs> screw it. <laughs> Well, when you have a tool, use it. Mm-hmm. All right, now this level. This level is the one I hear a lot of complaining about because it is really annoying. Hmm. You can't tell right now, but your controls are reversed when you're in this purple water. Oh, boy. Yes. I, I was going to make a, a chemical plant zone joke with the, the pink water, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they reverse your controls in that one. No. So yeah, this other than that is just a standard water level. I tried to show off the control reversing more, but it's a standard water level. But you have to take it really slow because if you just try to react to things, you're going to run straight into them. Yeah, and if you panic, bad things, bad bad things. I can assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much how this level goes. You just have to kind of uh, keep cool. Yeah. And also, the game doesn't tell you that the purple water reverses your controls, you just find out, but... It's alright, because we got on guard, and on guard is cool, dude. Yeah. Because the best part is that after this bonus, we get to keep him for most of the stage, too. Oh. There you go. Um... Uh, back a while ago, Egoraptor did his uh, silly little sequelitis on Mega Man and Mega Man X, and it, it seems to have, uh, the game design decisions they use there seem to have carried over, because uh, when you got into the water, there weren't any enemies, so you could actually figure that out for yourself. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. Yeah, it makes sense. I I do like that whole design of not actually killing you until you figure out what the gimmick does. Mm -hmm. Like I'm pretty sure the coin dozer guys and then whoops, <laughs> that was that was me pressing left or <laughs> to the <laughs> guy. So yeah. Uh, but uh, the whole I think like whoops, <laughs> messed up the timing there. But uh, I think the whole uh, like in the 
uh, coin dozer level, the guy couldn't kill you yet, and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. I think the lightning is probably the only one that probably would have killed you right away. Yeah. So uh, I think these guys, I think Rare still adheres to that design, and it works. Yeah. Cutting a little closer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I said, you can see me taking it slow because I'm just. Yeah. Because the it's whole. It's definitely noticeable. <laughs> it's yes. Not, it's not something you're blazing. Well, time to head right. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, it, just. There's parts where I just do that on instinct and then. Bad things happen. <laughs> Hold right to uh, win does not apply here. Nope. Uh, is, uh, are any of the other face buttons, uh, switched around? Uh, no, it's just the left and right directions. Oh, okay. All the other ones still do the same thing. Okay. It's funny because I remember, um, in Mega Man, or not Mega Man, Rockman Minus Infinity in the Pharaoh Man Temple thing. Mm hmm Has, uh, it not only reverses your, uh, left and right, but it also reverses your A and B and your start and select. Uh... Which is not so <laughs> the start select thing is not something you'd ever notice, <laughs> but it does reverse those. Yeah. But yeah, Oof. whoops. Yeah. That sort of precision comes with time, I guess. Mm hmm. It it's hard to be this precise when you're doing backwards controls because you have to constantly think about the controls. Yeah. And that kind of keeps you off of everything else and it messes you up really badly. I can see how it, how it would throw you off of a rhythm. Mm-hmm. So now, this, is, this challenge is basically swim in a circle, but it's also <laughs> it takes a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Circle's <laughs> most dangerous foe. Yes! Damn you, ellipses! <laughs> but it's okay, we get to get out of the water for a second. Oh, that's, that's cool. And you get a good coin at, at the same time. Mm hmm Yeah, this is actually pretty much the end of the level, I think. Mm. Yeah, right here. Ray, out of the foul <laughs> pink water. <laughs> Indeed. So now we get to fight Count Keep Right Off. Oh wait, no, that's not his name at all. <laughs> Damn you, fair, you lied to me! <laughs> oh hey, it's you again! Oh, it's cows. <laughs> He's still got those awesome shades. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that really is, Sorry. This is the best facial expression. I don't think those shades will ever get boring. Or any no. less awesome. So yeah, the, the, he does the same pattern as before, but the idea is to get behind him and get this barrel. Hmm. And then once you hit him with it... It somehow makes his head uh, jettison his face. I'll miss you, sunglasses! <laughs> and now he has a grenade shooting head. Well, you sure, shot whatever. me in the head, I guess I'll just go away now. <laughs> sunglasses head, you can come back, it's alright. <laughs> this other head is boring anyway, and he's also dead. Wow, what? <laughs> okay then. Well, time to hoist him away. Well, that 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 experiment was a failure. Yep, that was a fast boss, I guess. Oh wait, who's this guy? Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, this is Baron K. Rulenstein. I don't know if it's actually the same guy in a different costume or if it's just like his crazy brother or something. Hmm. <laughs> also. <laughs> I like that the dialogue is like as cheesy as possible, but I don't really like the dialogue. <laughs> if if that makes any sense. I I, I, I guess you can, I can see where that's coming from. Yeah. Like I do like that they made it as just as silly as possible. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> the the root of all problems in today's society is meddling kids. <laughs> Uh, this recession can be traced back to meddling kids. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, metaphors. <laughs> metaphors and references. Uh. Yep. So, what's so anyway, he uses his devilish remote to bring down uh, levers that drop barrels. Oh, okay. 
And then he just kind of glides back and forth. He doesn't really do much as far as fighting. Well, but then if you hit him in a, yeah. <laughs> but if you hit him in the back, his thing goes haywire for whatever reason. Mm. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Bowser fight in Super Mario World. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Also, if you don't have Dixie, this is how you do it. Because the only thing that hits you on the on the ladder is the uh, propeller. Mm. And then you just gotta watch out for him bouncing around. But then he uses his devilish remote again to switch things up. Oh no, you will never find your way past my dangerous traps! <laughs> exactly. This boss is weird because it feels more like an obstacle course than an actual boss. Yeah, it, it, it's it's weird. Yeah, because he doesn't do much and I just messed up because I hit the propeller instead of him. <laughs> Which blocks the bullets. I mean, blocks the <laughs> blocks the barrels. So I'm not using bullets. A barrel Monkeys have no need. Prop. Yep. Oh. Ooh, that's kind of horrifying, but okay. Oh no. <laughs> Apparently, that didn't hurt so bad. It hurt me a lot, though. Mm. Apparently, this guy takes like lightning to the face on a daily basis. Uh, with the evil scientist get up, I could believe that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an occupational hazard. Yeah. Also, duck dancing, because why the hell not? <laughs> so, yeah, without the ladders, without the uh, levers to climb across, you have to use this platform mm -hmm. and kind of duck under him. So, how many uh, phases does this guy boast? Uh, I think it's this one, and then there's another phase after this one. Oh. And that's it. Then it's two hits each. Mm hmm. Except, I think. The other one takes like more, but I don't remember. Mm. And I got bored and stopped duck dancing because I don't know. Duck dancing is hilarious, and I should have did it more. <laughs> Look at him; he's, he's just kind of speeding back and forth. He's minding his own business, and and, and and we're throwing barrels at him and electrocuting him and just doing all sorts mm -hmm. of evil things. Are we? Are we sure we're the good guys here? I I don't know anymore. My my moral compass is just thrown backwards by the sw sudden twist of events. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of the same as before, only you can't stay on the floor, and also the lightning will uh, destroy your barrels. Uh-huh. Yep. You better look at him getting electrocuted, I guess. Because <laughs> that's kind of important for a Let's Play. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. Seems like an... It, it, I wouldn't call it, you know, interesting, but it, but at the same time, it is kind of... It's a different concept, and I think it works for that, I guess. Yeah. Also, it gave us a bonus coin. Hmm. Which some of the bosses do, but whatever. Oh, hey, look, it's that robot again. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's you guys. How'd you guys get here? <laughs> Apparently, the robot was not only, like, a super death machine, but it was also a... Uh, storage container for monkeys. <laughs> I don't know how that even works. That that robot was not that wide. Thanks not to the Dixie least. Suit not pictured. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <sighs> oh hey, look. <laughs> how do you get here? <laughs> well, there was a Swanky's like a couple. <laughs> Like yards outside, I guess it wasn't that far away. Oh, okay. And we have to cut it here because the credits are really long, but they'll be with this, so go watch them. Hmm. Now I got Ray William Johnson staring me in the face. <laughs> Why are you. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.